Hello everyone, it's Kuali. Welcome to another video. Today we want to talk about the mathematics behind RSA. We want to see how exactly RSA generates public and private keys. Let's get started. So, but before we go to the mathematics, we need to know four definitions or we need to be familiar with these four terms. So first of all is factor. So numbers, we can multiply to get the original numbers or the factor of that number. So for example, 12 has a factor 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. And it means, uh, let's say 3 multiply 4 equals to 12. So they are the factors. The second term is prime number. So numbers whose factors are 1 and themselves. In our, uh, here, uh, here we can see 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. Semi-prime numbers whose uh, the numbers whose factors are prime number so for example 21 you can see the factors 3 and 7 which are the prime number therefore 21 is semi prime number and the last one is mod so remainder division let's say 13 mod 5 equals 3 it means when we divide 13 to 5 the remainder is 3 so this is the definition of this term and now let's go to the mathematic or to the process itself so first of all uh, we need just to take two random prime numbers so when i say v it means the computer so now we are in the cpu and computers shoe okay uh, let's uh, first let's grab two prime numbers so 7 and 19. after that we have to calculate the product and it is called uh, modulus okay and uh, 7 multiply 19 is equal to 133. The next term is torsion. Okay, so torsion has a definition in mathematics, but here uh, we don't want to go in depth, but we should find, uh, you know, the result of this. So P minus 1 multiply Q minus 1. In our case, it will be uh, 6 multiply 18. You can see it's 108 we have it here and now is the time to pick the public key so there are three conditions needs to be fulfilled and then public key can be selected the first one is public key must be a prime number second one public key must be less than torsioned and the last one, public key must not be a factor of the torsion. So let's find the public key. So there are more than one numbers uh, which can be full, which can be fit in these three conditions. Okay, but just we want to just grab one of them and we will grab 29. Okay, so there is, for example, let's say five must be a prime number 5 is a prime number is less than 108 and it's not a factor of uh, 108 so 5 also can be selected okay so just keep in mind there are more than one possibility uh, uh, to be selected and after that we go to select the private key so there is an equation and private key uh, should uh, match in this equation and here we have the as a private key we have e which we found 29 and t we already had so the answer of this equation is one so we want to find the number private key to fit or to fulfill this equation and here we choose 41 again there are more than one possibility for the private key but the hardest thing is to find the first one okay for example uh, let's uh, again here i will come to this point but if i want to show you so d which is 41 okay, 41 multiply e which is 29 equals 1189 and mod T, which is 108 here is one so this number matches this equation so we have found our private number a private key so here 41 and 
just see, I want to show you there are more than one option uh, to be selected as a private key. So 41 plus 108 is four uh, is 149. Okay, so let's put for 149 in this equation. So 149 multiply 29 equals to 4000 something and then mod t which is 108 again this is one so there are more than one options for the private key as well but the thing which makes this uh, rsa really really secure is the number of bits when you wanna when you wanna uh, sorry when you wanna uh generate the public and private key on linux for example you say uh, key gen and you, you write the comment and at the end you say 4096 i think yeah or 2048 so they are the number of bits okay and that they are the number of bits of modulus okay so here we just selected 133 and you can see 133 is one two three four five six seven eight bits okay the length of this number is eight bits if i count it correctly yeah, two three four five yeah eight bits but when we are generating a key uh, a key uh, per in linux or when rsa wants to do that it uses a number around 2048 bit in length so it's extremely big number just compared to this it's just eight bits the other one is 2048 so you cannot compare it. so it's extremely secure just i uh, we took just here some simple numbers to understand and now let's see how it works let's go to encryption and decryption how rsa uses these numbers to encrypt and decrypt them so for the encryption so message and then e so message raised to e and mod n equals to the cipher text cipher text is the encrypted text okay it's not the plain text it is the encrypted text and uh, again let's have another example so we just select 60 as our message so now we want to encrypt 60 so 60 raised 29 so 60 raised 29 equals to this number and mod 133 so this is the number from the last stop slide and now we have 86 so 86 is a cipher text which means it's an encrypted text okay and now let's decrypt this in another side in another computer but we know uh, the public and private key and now we know this equation so decryption how decryption works so it's cipher text which is the dec which is the encrypted text raised to d and mod n so 86 raise 41 86 raise 41 equals and mod 100 so we should have 60 which is the clear text and we have 60 here so this is the process how rsa generates the keys and then we just uh, check that how it works and we just saw that so i hope you enjoyed that this is it was really interesting for me that's why i went deep and i went and i read about it and i learned that so i hope you also enjoyed that and we will see each other in another in another video have fun see you